Hello guys, this is Mariano, the Trading Parrot, kicking off a brand new series of videos navigating the three commas features jungle with the Trading Parrot. In this series, I'm going to be addressing the most common asked questions and exploring the latest cutting edge features that three commas has to offer. And today we're going to be deep diving in one of the latest features, which is the new DCA bot launcher. If you're looking for a more flexible and intuitive experience with the DCA bot launcher, FreeCommerce has introduced switchable layouts. This new option has been specifically designed to enhance user productivity and for a more flexible and intuitive way to launch your new DCA bots. In this video, we are going to look into all the new features that come as part of this new DCA bot launcher. So stick around if you want to know not just the detail of how it works, but also to learn the best tricks about it. The whole point about this new DCA bot launcher is to give the user different options. You can switch between different layouts. So whether you're working on a laptop with a compact screen or a wide screen, FreeCommerce will adapt seamlessly to enhance your trading experience. If you want to know how the switchable layouts work in the next couple of minutes, I'll give you an overview of the options you have, how to switch them and how to take advantage of them. If you have never try the new DC8 bot launcher, when you hit start new bot, you're going to land in this page and they're going to invite you to try the upgraded DC8 bot launcher in beta version. You can enable it just by toggling the switch or by going to settings and scrolling down to beta testing and you're also going to find another toggle that allows you to enable or disable the new DC8 bot launcher. So let's go ahead and enable it and what comes first to mind when I look at this new new UI is that we got a much more efficient use of the space. But let me go first through all the different layouts that are currently available thanks to this new feature. At the top right of the page, you're going to find this settings icon, click on it. Here is where you're going to be able to select between the different layouts. First of all, you have the classic one. This particular option allows you to focus 100% on the bot settings, each of the parameters, how much is invested. We can say that this is an improved version of the previous generation of the DCA bot launcher. It looks a lot easier to read and to find things. And not just that, but it adapts a lot better to different screen sizes. For example, if you are in a small laptop or an iPad screen, everything looks very clear. And if you have a high resolution monitor as well, it looks pretty good to me too. If we now select the advanced mode, once again from the settings menu at the top right of the screen, now we are able to see the chart and the settings of the bot at the same time. Particularly here, I'm trading Solana, so I can see the price action, also technical indicators in the same screen. And for people that want to design their own strategies, and cherry pick different technical indicators, whether for deal start conditions, deal exit conditions, or even for safety orders. You can visualize the effect of those things directly in this view, thanks to now the chart being visible at all times. Advanced layouts are available for traders that have over 1,200 pixels and for traders that have a wide screen with over 2,560 pixels as well. In this particular view, you can also switch into the detail view, which is going to give you three columns to observe the entry order and the different safety orders that you're currently using. In addition, if you enable on this panel in here, the details view, you're going to be able to see three columns view showing you the entry order and the different safety orders that you have selected in your bot settings. But going back into the chart, the most important thing is that now you can integrate directly into the chart the conditions that you later are planning to use in your bot settings so you can graphically observe the effect of the different technicals. For example, in here, I'm adding a moving average in RSI directly into the chart so I can do my own analysis and design my strategy. For example, a 200 moving average and a default RSI. Just to give you a very quick example, in here, I have a moving average with a length of 200 and another with 50. I'm going to color my 50 with white color so we can distinguish it. And we're going to say that we have an uptrend when the 50 is above the 200 MA on the one hour. And I'm going to enter along when the RSI crosses above 30, but at the same time, we are in an uptrend based on those moving averages. This is just going to be a simple example. And if we were to follow this particular strategy in the past few days, we will have had an entry right here. 
and that is because the 50 is above the 200 MA and at the same time the RSI has crossed 30. So let's go ahead and let me show you how efficient is visualizing everything in the chart and at the same time being able to set it up right there in the bot. I'm gonna pick a deal start condition and I'm gonna select moving average in here. First let's focus on the uptrend. I'm gonna pick the moving average type SMA. The fast is gonna be the 50 and the slow is gonna be the 200 as I mentioned before and instead of doing crossing up what we want is the 50 to be above the 200 therefore we need to say greater than and that means that the 50 is greater than the 200 but we still need to change the time frame because in this chart we are in the one hour let's also copy that that will basically allow my bot to enter every time we are in an uptrend but now we need to pick with the other side that cross above 30 so for that i'm gonna add a new condition i'm gonna use my rsi length 14 just like in the chart i'm gonna stick to the one hour time frame and i'm gonna look for the crossing up above 30. after having done this I I already have mimic the deal start condition in full i will later have to decide what to do with safety orders stop losses and the rest but as you can see it's very convenient to be able to design your bot see the effect in the price action the indicators and side to side being able to mimic things directly into your bot. Some other things that I find interesting as well and some people might prefer these other options is that you can decide whether to put the chart on the right or on the left. You can see how simple it is to do that and you can decide between using a form with wide versus a thin one. When you do thin one you're gonna see a very narrow panel with the settings of the bot and that is very convenient if you want to see a larger chart worth mentioning as well that if you use the classic layout you can still see the chart but in this case it will come up in full screen notice that i've been flipping between the different layouts and my settings in the chart and in the bot are all retained nothing has been lost which is really cool try the new switchable layouts on three commas and see how the new dca bot launcher can take your trading to the next level and if you're ready to experience the new level of dca trading click on the link under the video to claim your three commas free trial so you can try the new dca bot launcher consider subscribing to the three commas youtube channel for more videos like this and stay tuned and let us know in the comments which questions you'd like us to cover in the next video see you later